Here we have the two most popular chimney damper caps that are on the market today. This one is called the Lamance, and this one is called the Lock Top. They were both invented many years ago. There's a major problem with these designs. You see, if you have a fire tonight, you can't close any damper cap until the next morning because the fire is usually smoldering an hour or so after the flames go out and you're in bed. All night long, your home is vulnerable to invasion from rain, snow, sleet, and hail. This will cause serious erosion to the concrete or mortar that keeps your bricks from becoming loose and falling out. This will cause expensive damage to your fireplace and chimney. It will be a serious safety issue for your family. You do not want any kind of water inside your fireplace. Raccoons are nocturnal, which means they sleep in the daytime and they wander around at night looking for food and a place to have their babies. In the spring, if you forget to close your damper, and many people do, you could be invaded by a female raccoon who wants to enter your chimney to have her babies. They can crawl straight down a chimney flue. I know you're thinking, they're so cute. Trust me, you do not want these animals in your chimney. Enough said? Okay. The lock top damper cap has no bird screen either. Squirrels particularly love this one because they can enter it so easily. You do not want any of these animals in your home. The same is true with birds. You can be infested with a flock of chimney sparrows or chimney swifts as they're called in different parts of the country. When flying over your house, as many as 1,000 chimney sparrows can enter your chimney and spend the night and all of them will use your chimney for a restroom. I have cleaned many chimney dampers that have bird droppings six inches deep. In the spring, you are most vulnerable. They will find an open chimney to build a nest and have their babies. Not a good thing for you and your family. Now, having said all of this, the only way these two designs can meet all of your chimney damper cap needs is for you to purchase and have installed a separate cold industrial looking unit to go over these damper caps and sit on top of your chimney looking like a bird cage. Hey there, my name is Dallas Thomas. I think I cleaned my first chimney in 1978. Since then I have cleaned, inspected, and repaired over 17,000 chimneys and fireplaces. I've installed countless rain caps and damper caps over the years. I've studied all of them and I know all of their weaknesses. From this experience, I have invented what I believe and what everyone else who sees it believes is the world's best chimney damper cap. My damper cap was perfected over a seven and a half year period. It's now available to you factory direct, only from this webpage. It's not sold in stores and it's not sold in chimney supply catalogs. It is truly factory direct, which eliminates the middleman and saves you 25%. It's handcrafted in the good old USA. The quality is beyond perfection. It has a forever warranty, which means that it is warranted against failure due to rust and corrosion because it's made out of 100% high-grade laser-cut stainless steel. And I give you my personal guarantee that if you're not satisfied within the first 30 days, I will give you your money back, no questions asked. So far, this has never happened. So now may I present to you the Hideaway Chimney Damper Cap. You can probably tell that I'm very proud of the hideaway. I give God the credit for my talent and the tenacity to keep going and perfecting the hideaway over the past seven and a half years. Now we'd like to show you how easy it is to install the hideaway. If you're the handyman type, you can install it yourself or you can call your local chimney sweep and he or she can do the installation for you. Just show them this video and they'll figure it out in just a second or two because they're pros. Take the tube of silicone and coat the entire perimeter of the top of the flue. Use all of the glue and cover the surface. Uncoil the cable and drop the ring down the flue. Careful not to touch the silicone. Mount the hideaway on top of the flue and center it. Voila! You are now finished on the roof. If the cable did not come all the way down, wear a pair of safety glasses and reach up inside the chimney and pull the cable down. The cable will be longer than necessary, so you will have to cut it later. Use the bracket as a template to mark two holes. 
With a drill and a quarter inch masonry drill bit, drill the two holes one inch deep. Insert the nail anchor and make sure the hole is deep enough to take all of it in. With a bracket in place, take your hammer and drive the nails in. Pull down on the cable all the way and move it over inside the notch on the bracket. Take a sharpie pen and mark on the cable just below the bracket. Loosen the grommet with a hex key and slide the brass grommet to just below your mark. Take the hex key and tighten down the set screw as tight as you can. After you are sure you have the correct position on the cable, take your wire cutters and cut the cable on the bottom side of the brass grommet. When the cable is in the bracket, the hideaway is in the open position. To close the hideaway, simply remove the cable from the bracket and let the hideaway come down in the closed position. You will hear a distinct sound when the hideaway closes. We call this the sound of money. The ring will hang freely until you have your next fire. Thank you for taking the time to watch our little video. Let me leave you with this closing thought. I've been called to homes that were full of smoke because the homeowner could not tell if the damper that they were using was opened or closed. You'll never have that problem with the hideaway. All you have to remember is that the ring should hang freely and not be attached to the bracket on the side of the firebox. So here's a little riddle to help you remember. Pull the ring down, it's no joke, or else your house will fill with smoke. Thanks again for watching and God bless. Thank you.